This video was sponsored by AppMatch. Check them out, link is in the description below. What is up guys? And I'm in the very lucky position where I get to try a lot of new smartphones. Every time I move device, whether I'm moving to a larger screen phone, or a smaller screen phone, or a larger battery phone, or an older version of Android phone, there's always something you really like about it. I sometimes appreciate moving to a smaller phone because it's easier to hold in the hands. I like moving to a larger phone because I enjoy how much screen real estate I have. And so you realize that pretty much every smartphone has the capability to be novel to be an enjoyable experience, to be a fun device to use. But it's just that when you use the same device for a long period of time, people seem to forget that. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can reconstruct that feeling, how you can pick up your smartphone for the next time and really start to appreciate it all over again. Let's get right into it. So one of the main things you grow accustomed to over a period of time with your phone is the external way it looks. But there is a surprising amount you can do about this. We'll cover one of the things earlier in this video and another bit later on. Now you could go with a traditional smartphone case, but this usually comes at the cost of added bulk. So without drastically affecting the form factor of the phone, you could also go for a skin, which for a lot of people might be a better option because you can kill two birds with one stone. A skin can mimic the feel of carbon fiber, wood, stone, and more. It could add grip, a bit of scratch protection, and more importantly, also make your phone feel new. The one I'm using here, for example, is a very basic $7 plastic skin, but it feels like wood grain, it looks like wood grain, so that's enough to actually increase the novelty factor quite significantly. Another factor that can make someone rapidly bored of a phone is having nothing to do on it. One good game is enough to shake that feeling and remind you what an enjoyable experience your phone can provide. And so some of the mobile games I found almost endless replay value in our Great Big War game, which also has dedicated offline co-op on the same device. Bloons Tower Defense 5, similarly strategic. But to give you an idea, if you wanted to properly complete this game, I think it would take you two to 300 hours. We've got Scribblenauts, a little bit less deep in terms of gameplay, but surprisingly creative. If you haven't tried Scribblenauts, it's gonna bring a smile to your face. Duck Warfare was also one of my more recent highlights, and Age of Zombies on mobile was maybe the most addictive of the bunch. There are also a couple of apps recently that have reminded me how capable the bits of tech in our pockets truly are. VSCO for cinematic photo editing. Couple of taps and you've completely transformed your image into something that has been color graded as if it was by a professional. You've got PhotoScan, which basically turns your printed photos into something that looks like it was digitally created. But it's not just about software. There are some really nifty smartphone accessories that can also reinvent the experience. Get a stand and an SD card and a Netflix membership and you can start properly enjoying films on your phone. Especially now as phone screens are getting bigger and brighter and speakers are improving. Or alternatively, grab a VR headset and give that a go. This is a feature everyone knows their phones are capable of, but very few people actually truly give it a shot and really experience everything it has to offer. For people who are into photography, you've got things like external lenses and they can be fun to play around with. Or something I think is even more interesting, 360 cameras. There are some out there which aren't actually as expensive as you'd think, and I'll leave a couple of links down below, but these do let you create memories in a way that you haven't done in the past. I remember when I first tried a 360 camera on my phone, it was a similar level of novelty to when I first tried a dual camera on a smartphone. Sometimes in the past, I've really started to enjoy my phone more after getting a great pair of headphones. Just download Spotify and start to use your phone to also organize your playlists. All right, no matter what device you're using, the main page you will be interacting with is the home screen. So revolutionize it, create a complete contrast to your existing setup, something which changes the colors, the animations, the feel, and the icons. I do have a couple of dedicated videos which I'll link above on exactly how to do this, but start by getting a new launcher like ADW Launcher 2 or OF Launcher, which can be used completely with one hand. Nova Launcher is famously very customizable and quite a good all-rounded one. Or you could even go the other way and download something like Windows Launcher to recreate the look and feel of a desktop computer. And something as simple as a wallpaper change can make a difference. So there are some great Google Plus artists out there who make these wallpapers, use applications like Material Islands, like Wall-E. They've got loads of really good options which are made for smartphone home screens. If you're using an iPhone, you are for sure more restricted in this area, but you can still find new and interesting wallpapers in the same way. And something a lot of people do find quite surprising is that without doing any tinkering, iPhones still support live wallpapers where you can hold down on the home screen and the wallpaper starts reacting. So we've talked briefly about skins and cases on smartphones, but there is another option. 
If you really wanted to take the customization to another level, you could start introducing spray paints. Which, hear me out, does sound like a crazy idea, but if you're careful with it, if you buy the right products, you can truly customize the experience to exactly how you want it. Something that is very easy to do is to just buy a $2 silicon case from eBay and spray paint it. That's a very simple process and you basically can't go wrong. And providing you've got some decent quality paints, you'll get a reliable, lasting, even finish. And this also translates to phones which have removable back plates. You can literally just snap the plate off and paint it as if it was a case and completely change the way it feels. But you can step this up a notch by using a little bit of tape and a little bit of bravery. You can go directly onto the smartphone. So what you do is you use the tape to cover up all the orifices, cover up the sides and make sure no paint can leak through. And then using some Vaseline, which is a hack that has taken me about two weeks to figure out, you can place it on areas you don't want to be painted. And as soon as you're done spraying the phone, you simply rub it away and those areas won't be covered. So to stress, this is really only for the brave among you, but just to say the results can be worth it. Alright, so as we said, this video was sponsored by AppMatch, which is a site that asks you questions and then recommends great apps based on your answers. It works best on mobile and there are a lot of different quizzes here covering all different genres of application, from games to tech to cryptocurrency, which is one of their newer ones. And so you can go through these quizzes, which take about two minutes on average. And during this process, the website is matching your preferences with their database of applications. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. With that being said, my name is Aaron. This is Mr. Who's the Boss, and I'm signing out.